Hello, how beautiful have our tribe. It is Pink Bella, and I'm going to be working with the Arcturians today to bring in a transmission for all of us for the super blue full moon, which will be the one beginning. There'll be four in a row, and this one is in Aquarius, so I have a transmission about that for you all. And I'm going to do a deep dive um, around a few things, including uh, a grid work update. Uh, I'm going to also bring in some information about the dragons and um, closing dark looshing portals, which I just did a piece of over the weekend. And I'm going to just peek at, I'm just going to pull a couple of little cards for us around the Matthew Perry update. And also I'm going to use code words here, monkey, shock the monkey um, program. And I'm going to do a deeper dive into Rumble after this. So I will post that in the community tab. So anyone who's interested in going into more that information more deeply that I can't do on this platform, uh, check that out as well. Okay. So I am recording this for all Starseeds, Lightworkers, Empaths, 144,000, Great Keepers, Gatekeepers, Divine Goddesses for uh, this super blue full moon portal, which is today um, the 19th of 2024 of August. And my name is Pink Bella. For those of you who are new, welcome everyone. Um, thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing, hitting that like button so we can reach more star season light workers. And um, you all let me know in the comments where you are, what resonated with you, how are things going for you as we move towards um, moving out of the Leo energy and moving into the Virgo energy, as well as how has this full blue super moon been for you? Uh, let me just see what else they wanted me to share about. Yeah, and the timeline split as well. And we are in Mercury retrograde. We are in Mercury retrograde, which I believe it's gone into Virgo and it will go direct the 27th, 28th of August in about another week, okay? It is the massive disruptor and timeline adjuster for sure. Okay, so um, for those of you who don't know, I am a quantum 12th to 22nd dimensional Akashic healer and reader, but I also deep dive into the galactic Akashic records. And I'll be doing a little bit about that for us today as well. Okay. So before I even get into every, anything, any of you are interested, there's super full blue moon offers on my website right now. So my website and email are in the description box below. And then I'll talk a little bit more about that after the transmission. All right. So this is going to be um, a reading for all of us for this full blue Superman, what we need to know. And then I'll bring in a transmission there. Uh, the Arcturian team of light will be the team of light trans um, translating through me today. And they have been a team that I've been working with quite closely over the last six months. I work with many galactic councils and, and um, both on and off planet, but they're the key ones. Okay. So I've already pulled a couple of cards and I've got some, a transmission about how I've been feeling. So, and what's been coming through me, which has been it was intense. It was intense last night and this morning. Okay. So lots of throat activations happening at this time. The super full moon is kind of wrapping it up. That's connected to this Mercury retrograde. Some of you might still be going through it. So uh, check out, and I will link in the last video, the live that I did last week, lots of information came in, but our throat chakras are getting heavily impacted by multiple scenarios. And that's what I want to look into. And again, we'll go into a deeper dive on rumble. But the frequency transmissions, which I feel were connected to the opening of the galactic uh, new year, which was July 26, coincide with the Olympics in Paris, lots of throat shifts and changes for many of us up until about the 10th of August. And we're wrapping it all up now. So I even too, I'm starting to hear my voice is stabilizing. But even if you go back to the last couple of videos, you'll hear like my voice has been different. I just heard another beautiful starseed way shower today and she didn't sound like herself at all. So that just confirms what we're all feeling. Also, it's our, our throat is our superpower. So it's not just about speaking, it's picking up so much. And that's where some of the symptoms of like the thickening throat, the, the sore throat, not being able to swallow things. It's actually com coming for multiple reasons. But anyway, it's super interesting. The first card that I pulled for us is the temple of truth, the throat chakra. And uh, it, it, this is about authenticity, self-expression, and the throat, but mainly just a confirmation that our throat chakra needs a lot of rest and healing right now. So if you've had any of those symptoms that I've been sharing about, please make sure that you uh, are taking care of your throat. Okay, withdraw and uh, you know try not to speak while you're integrating. 
it's also, you know, this is about our, our angelic wings and spending time in nature, which I'm going to do right after this transmission. And um, that nature herself uh, needs us as much as we need her. Okay. So we're calibrating nature and she's calibrating us as well. Okay. Next message that came in is the sword of light, divine protection, breaking through energy. This is connected to the timeline. So many people come in from our past uh, through Mercury retrograde, whether it's through email, text, seeing them, dreaming about them because we're clearing timelines with them. We're, we're letting ourselves go. We're releasing ourselves out of those old timelines. And I'll share a little bit about that. Also, again, light shield up, light shield up through this. Make sure you're saging your home, your space, using something like the violet flame. I'll talk a little bit more about that too. And that we are divinely protected, but the Mercury retrograde kind of takes us back into another timeline where we weren't protected. So that's why these people come in from our past to give us another opportunity to make a new choice. So as an example, I went on a divine grid work assignment, which I, I'll talk about in the grid work section, but I was sitting in this venue and I worked with the dragons to do grid work before I got to the location, but I'm sitting in this venue and I'm literally having all these timelines in my life since I was a teenager flash before me they were still there they were I could see the people I could hear the conversations I could see the bands that we went to see so I tidied all up that and called my power back and closed them down because we sometimes out of sentimental um, heart connections we don't want to close these timelines down but you free yourself up to be more sovereign and and you free them up as well it doesn't wipe out the memories it frees up your energy and brings your power back to you Okay. That was the first thing. And the second thing is I also had some individuals from my past be sitting near us, but the, it's like that, it was like a staticky connection. I looked at them and I didn't recognize them. And even when they, when someone finally said their name, then it clicked into place, but it's been so long since I've seen these individuals and we've all changed so much, especially since this, this has changed everyone in many ways, but it's also cha changed all of us who haven't had it because we're all changing our, we're changing our, our looks are changing. Our bodies are changing from um, carbon to crystalline. So that happened. So that was another timeline. Apparently I had, when I was younger, I was open. My energy was open. So I had allowed some of these individuals to plug into my solar plexus because I'm, so I'm, at the venue, I'm multitasking. I'm connecting with my higher self. I'm asking why these individuals have shown up in my movie. And I was given the information. I was like, okay, through forgiveness and gratitude, I call my power back and I send their energy back to them. And I close the timeline. So it's as simple as that. But that's why I do what I do. So if you're unsure how to do this, I help you with this as well. Okay. And I bring you tools to assist you to um, start to do this for yourself. Okay. The third message, Seraphine's gateway. Oh, they want me to talk a little bit more, more about this. So, you know, I was shielded and protected through that venue. How did they find me? Because it was connected to an old timeline. Yeah, it was connected to an old timeline. So thank you, Mercury Retrograde, for showing me that. Called my power back, sent it back to them. And I didn't see them after that. I didn't hear about them. I didn't see them after that. And I really feel like they were on a, like a bridge of a timeline for that to all come together. But yeah, it was so fascinating, everyone, for sure. Okay, the final message, Seraphine's Gateway, which again is connected to, there's another sword, a sword of light, right? Sword of light, pillars of light, uh, lightsabers. So a voice activation, angelic attunement, divine support. So we are becoming more angelic. We're becoming more connected to our, um, expanding our wings, allowing our wings to unfold. And we're, the Seraphim are very high frequency angelic collective that are around prime source creator so that's what the voice activation has been about so that our voices are more angelic more able to attune to our hearts our souls and moving forward as well and we want to guard our voice and protect our voice at this time especially if it's offline or if it's scratchy or not well you need to protect that voice while it's attuning as well okay so tuning to the divine now what's interesting is one more card fell out the ayunaki it fell in up, upside down but I'm going to pull some more cards about this because the Ayunaki, you know, positive Ayunaki, negative Ayunaki, but this when it's upside down. Okay. So the, the message on the card is actually energetic shift, new information, end of a cycle. And, but it came in upside down. So some of you are not completing it yet. And some of you are completing your contracts with the Ayunaki as well. 
Um, I want to pull some galactic cards about this as well and just see if there's anybody else. So you might all be receiving interference from the dark versions of the Anunnaki. Um, and that's some of your healing clearing. And they may show up as a representation of someone in your reality. Nar I'm hearing narcissistic codependent connections. Okay. Power number 20, power of sound, Vega. I'm just going to pull three. Number 97, enlightenment, but it's the Zeta future. So some of you um, are connected to the Zetas, the Greys, and they're super proud of you as well because you, you are becoming more enlightened and less fearful of that, those words. Number 40, stubbornness, Pleiades past. Interesting. Okay. Is there anything? There's one card. Okay. Vega came in again. Spiritual commitment. So I talked, sorry, I talked about this before, number 72. So Vega was a very uh, empowered enlightenment star seed planetary body that many Lyrans moved to. But when Lyra got wiped out, Vega also got wiped out. So, so those of us that are coming out of the shadows, we're preparing to be more in our power, more, more to be seen, um, paying attention to the power of sound and frequencies. And that actually, I'm going to be updating this on my website, but some of the um, being afraid to be seen um, is connected to the tracking tags from the downfall of Lyra and Vega. So um, we've been working through dissolving those and being able to be seen. So that's included in um, advanced J seals and also the AI nanotech distance sessions, but also could be part of a scan if that resonates with you, if you book a session or a package, okay? All right, so Vega came in super strongly. Now this one is a spiritual commitment. So we make commitments um, with living on Vega, with being these powerful spiritual beings to kind of go into hiding. And that made it difficult with the Lyran Vega tracking tags, okay? All right, Zeta 97 enlightenment future. So, so there are Zetas, there are Greys that also are very positive that some of you came in to um, to learn to grow, to expand. So some of you may have lineage, a high percentage of lineage to these beings, but you came in to expand, grow, and find your way back, back to prime source creator, okay? To your heart, your soul, your destiny, and also to go home. Uh, number 40, stubbornness, Pleiades past. That's interesting. So stubbornness would be a lower non-angelic frequency it would be a um I, i've always done it this way so i'm going to stay that this is a past timeline with ladies so even some of you are clearing that out stubborn you're letting go of stubbornness um yes there's been a lot of anger a lot of stubbornness a lot of ego resolving and clearing at this time so there you go that's an interesting message from the palladium system as well okay let me just I'm going to finish doing the reading, but I'm going to want to look at all of this, what I wrote down. So this full blue super moon is the beginning of four. It is a, it's an Aquarius. It's affecting all of us as star season light workers, grid keepers, um, ascension guides, everyone. It, and it's been intense. It woke me up between three and 6 a.m. It also woke my cat up. This is just recently, I was able to go back to sleep once the moon energy moved, but it's very intense right now. It's also bringing up a lot of, hot temperatures in the body, fevers, it's burning off old programs, burning off ego programs, dissolving um, anything that's come forward through the lion's gate that needs to go. So our body will all often sweat these out, okay? Throat chakra, reprogramming, and I wrote down no sleep. So it should ease up by Wednesday. It's also, if you think it's impacting us, think about the players that are, not conscious of this game, this matrix, um, they are, anger is like maxed out. Everybody's irritable. Um, pay attention, really to be in the present moment, especially if you're driving, uh, pay attention because um, it's like tempers can be set off like that. Okay. So just pay attention to that as well. And what else did they want me to talk about? Okay. They also wanted me to bring forward about the violet flame. I'm going to get into that more this week. I'm also going to be offering group calls around this as well, but I do offer to help you with these tools and sessions and packages. And the violet flame is a tool that will be unbelievably to assist us all. I've just been given how much more it gives us now than what we thought, but it's an unbelievable transmutation tool for ourselves, for our homes, for our property, for our reality, for food, water, all of it. Okay.
Okay, so that's super important. Um, and massive timeline splits right now, especially with people from our past or people that you're trying to connect with or stay connected to. Don't worry, they'll come back. But it's like everybody made a conscious choice before the end of July, what timeline they were to be on, how fast they wanted to go with their spiritual expansion, how slow they wanted to go. And then um, for many of us, it was irritable to be around certain individuals and irritable for them too, because there was a, there has been a, a very clear divide in the timelines now. So people have chosen 5D and up, 4D or to stay in 3D, okay? So I had to make, personally, I had to make some choices around some individuals in my life and I just let it go because what it turned out was I had to choose myself, my, my throat, my health, and I just had to let it go. And it, uh, you know, by the 10th, it started to ease up. So if you all are still going through that, you're going through a timeline recalibration and we have to choose ourselves. We have to choose self-love and it, it's so difficult sometimes, but it will ease off but it's like your soul is asking you to make a conscious choice. Which timeline do you want to be on? Do you want to be on your golden ascension timeline? Or do you want to be held back and go through more suffering, more losing, et cetera? Okay. All right. All right. So let me talk about the dragons and then I'll talk a little bit more about, okay. No, they're letting me know, know to share this. Okay. So there's specials on right now to, for galactic Akashic, um, records, readings. There's also a package, a value package. So that's at the top of my website. And of course, personal quantum alignment sessions. But specifically, if you want to deep dive more into your galactic heritage and Akashic records, there's an offer on to do that as well. All of my sessions include an Akashic record reading, um, transmutation, healing, quantum healing, chakra balance, connecting to the latest crystal grids, making sure that you're um, your earth star and your soul star connect to the grids and get aligned with your highest timeline. Okay. So that's included pretty well with everything. The distance sessions are a little bit different, but you still get a report. You still get a report. You still get a healing quantum healing and alignment and you're on a crystal grid. So just to share that, because I know there's many new people on my channel. Okay. Um, yeah. So this, and those are on for the full blue super moon as well. Okay. Let's talk now about grid work and the dragons and the dragon loosing portal. Oh, Sorry, I didn't finish the reading. Sorry, tribe. Okay, let me just pull a few more cards around this blue super full moon. If there's anything specific that we need as well. Okay, I just get so excited. Dance with life. So keep our vibration high. Do something to change your energy. So go out of nature, play some high, high vibrational music um, and keep your vibration high. Okay, avoid drama especially for the rounding out of the uh, retrograde. Number one, reconnection, universal healing shield. So all of this is to help you, me, all of us reconnect our pillar of light, which is our chakra. So our chakras unpack, it's our energy system. They unpack when we need things cleared out through certain timelines, realities, and then they you know, unify again into a pillar of light. So this is all about us all reconnecting with prime source creator and having the option to go home which could be coming back to earth, new earth. It could be going to another galactic location like Andromeda as an example. Okay. So where this is a reconnection time period. And it's also, again, a time to go within number one, new beginnings. Okay. Number five transitions, karmic time weaver. So again, Mercury retrograde is about, and the super full blue moon is going to bring everything to the surface. Really, you know, tears, anger, irritability, it, because it's a, it's showing you karma, it's showing you what you're releasing and um, that it's also about transitioning to your highest timeline. And that's what Mercury is doing right now. It's helping us uh, clear up our timelines, clear up old timelines and being able to transition fully into our new timeline for new earth and, and beyond. One more message. Number three, inspiration, Cassiopeia. I love that. I love that. Cassiopeia is a beautiful constellation, very close to earth. Cassiopeia inst inspiration. So through all of this, you're all going to receive more inspiration, more guidance about your soul mission, what steps to take. So it is, it is important to choose ourselves and choose our, choose our highest timeline. And I just want to see if there's any uh, frequencies that want to come in. There are some frequencies in this deck. So no, but this is interesting. The dragon came in initiations with dragons the, and dragons are the wisdom keepers number 18 i love that all right so choose a frequency that works best with you 
And let me just put all of these cards over here now. And that's perfect to segue into the dragons. So for those of you who don't know, I've been working with the dragons since uh, July, 2017. They came more deeply to work with me last September to start um, grid work assignments, which are global. I do personal grid assignments all the time. I know that you all do as well. So I share what I can. At the moment, the global galactic ley line project that I'm working on is to help overlay the, on the current grid system with divine goddesses anchoring in that divine feminine Christ energy. So it's a little bit specialized, but I will at some point be offering like grid work um, group calls as well for everyone to join. Okay. So the dragons. So I've had, I had an assignment that's not complete yet, but to do with the city of Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, West coast, um, to assist and close down leashing portals. So that's new for me. So that's also going to be included in the upcoming coming assignment. So we can work with the dragons, just not only close dark portals, but to close leashing portals. So that was really interesting. So I sent them ahead to create Intel to, give me intel when I arrived at this site which is a fairgrounds and when I arrived there it was actually the most peaceful I've ever been I have not been back to the site since 2019 however this site was something that I've been going to since I was a child with my family and it also was where I used to go see a lot of uh, musicians a lot of bands way back in the day as well um, so um, so much has changed so much is the same. That's where I was shown that there were timelines still open. But anyway, while I was in this venue, the dragons were helping me close leaching portals. And I also worked with them. Um, I was uh, on my own for about 45 minutes. I worked with them to continue to do grid work and to continue to close any leaching portals on the property, as well as like after hours after I left and, and continue. And I'll be going back and doing part two um, towards the end of this week. So we can work with the dragons to close leaching portals. So that's exciting. Okay. And I've been working on that anyway, without them labeling that here. I'm one of my grid work points is a big shopping mall. There's also been some, um, like a plague, a blow up playground thing that showed up this summer. And right away I was asking, is this a leaching portal? And I was giving yes. So that's been part of my assignment too. Okay. So let's on that note, let's pull some dragon cards and see what dragon messages want to come forward. Let me just hold on a minute. I pulled some dragon cards before. So let me just shuffle and ask which dragon messages want to come forward for us, for those who are called to work with the dragons. And by the way, you, I absolutely work with you. There's many options to work with the dragons. I have a dragon activation package. I have a golden dragon activation package. I work with the dragons for Jedi training, both with um, Archangel Michael and or the galactic goddesses, Kuan Yin. Um, there's also dragon sessions included in the Starseed Empowerment Package, which is mix and match. And let me just see, there was one more thing, one more thing. Oh, the upcoming grid work assignment that starts September 5th as well. So we'll be working with the dragons as well and, and practicing closing dark portals. So that's going to cover the Canadian Rockies and the Rockies all the way down to New Mexico. It's going to cover the Big Island of Hawaii and it's also going to cover Mount Shasta assisting us with Los Angeles. So check that out. There's still some spaces available. Okay. All right. And that starts September 5th. So let me just see which dragons want to come in for a message for us today. The earth and the water dragon. I'm going to pull three. Oh, they came in right away. Interesting. Okay. The air and the water dragons. We water came in twice and earth. Ooh. And I just got a hit in my throat chakra about that. So hold on. And Archangel Gabriel, Gabriel's dragon, which is reminding me that we will be working with some of the powerful and gel dragons as well as the galactic dragons for the grid work assignment as well. Okay. The earth and the water dragon. So this is about creating foundations for new growth. A fresh start is coming with new opportunities, nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance. So everything will ease up. You can kind of see the moon in the background, like it's leading. So everything's going to ease up for everyone after the super full moon completes. Okay. And yeah. And it's interesting just sharing about that my nose is getting all tickly. Okay. The air and the water dragon helps you to connect to higher frequency. So water is so key right now, everyone breathing fresh air, drinking water, um, trust your intuition. Our superpowers are, become, are expanding. Be open to enlightenment. And this is all about all of us being on our mission 
and expressing our inner song, okay? Archangel Gabriel's dragon. So I often work with Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Michael and the Legions of Light to close dark portals and energy. But Archangel Gabriel's dragon, this very pure white dragon, has come in to bring purification. So a great dragon for us to work with for closing the Lucian portals. Self-discipline will speed ascension and bring joy. You can carry, and then it says you can carry Archangel Gabriel's diamond. So that means that if you need to make choices about yourself right now, then do it. And um, really take good care of yourself. And this too shall pass. All right. You're going to, you're going to land beautifully. Okay. Just was wondering if there's something else they wanted to share. So I'm going to add Archangel Gabriel's dragon to my grid work when I go back to that site to finish part two, uh, the end of the week. So I will, I will have another update. So I'm on the West coast of Canada. I do global grid work. I've been doing un unconscious for global grid work for years. And then I started to do online group grid work. And I also offer training, personal training for you all, because um, it's important that we can do it both in person and online. All right. That's, that's the ability. There's also different types of grid work. Some souls out there teach grid work like boots on the ground to fight and battle um, what's there, what's under the earth. That's fantastic. That's not my role, but I, I'm so grateful for all you beings that are doing that because it's a super, like there's all of us, we are in these galactic meetings when we're sleeping and we're all being given a piece of the puzzle. So mine is to help bring online the new grid system, the new Stargate system. Okay. All right. Oh, they're just letting me, did I share that? Yes, I did. So the Lushing portals, the dark portals, they have access to the Rocky Mountains. That's why so much is going on there right now, why there's so many fires. So we'll keep you posted. I'll give you an update once we start that grid assignment as well. Okay. And by the way, all the trees around the planet are connected. All the waterways are connected. All the mountains are connected. So they are very powerful, unknown vortexes and stargates. So we are to take care of them and they will take care of us. So that was kind of a plea from the galactics that the Rocky Mountains had been infiltrated. So hence the upcoming um, grid assignment, which will be three assignments and we'll finish uh, early October. There'll be two Zoom calls in September, one in early October, and uh, they'll be recorded as well. So if you can't make the time when we do the live grid work, you can still follow along, receive your quantum healing and instructions for the grid work as well. Okay. All right. So now I want to wrap this reading up and pull a unicorn and a crystal for us all. Unicorn message. Oh, two came in. Oh, I love it. Dance. Dance came in twice and there's a moon. So dance will help move the energy, move your body to music, dance with the rhythm of life, manifest your dreams through dance. So dancing will help to move the energy, everyone. Put on some good music and dance. Oh, that's interesting. Look what we got. The unicorn of prosperity. So a gift of money is on its way. Your income is increasing. Manage your finances with love. I love it. Amazing messages. Amazing, amazing messages. So if abundance is what you seek, it is coming where you're purging everything that, might, that is blocking the way through the super full moon. All right. One crystal message for all of us. Clear quartz. I love it. Clarity. Clear quartz is like one of my, it's always been one of my favorites uh, for meditation, crown chakra, but for clarity. All right. Uh, clear guidance, clear movement forward. Okay. So now um, I'm just going to pull a few cards about some of the other topics. And if you all, like I said, want to go deeper into this, I will um, be, I'm just in the process after this, I will be recording a deep dive into the Akashic Records for these scenarios. So first off, Matthew Perry, rest in peace. Um, I did some deep dives with him already. Uh, there has been a conclusion with his case. Um, there have been arrests. And I had, I'm just going to pull some general messages on this channel. What, what do we need to know? What other information would you like us to know? Connecting in with the higher self and team of light of Matthew Perry that we don't already know that we can share about. What would you like to share, Matthew? Okay. Number 18, shadow aspects. Number one, emptying the bowl, love begins. Number 13, 
transformation. Number six, memories of love, bottom of the deck. And then it's a whole few cards. Uh, clarification of the shadow card. Uh, Eight of cups out in the moonlight. You know what? If I, rem if I recall, he left through, it was either a very powerful full moon or it was an eclipse. So there are deep dives already, everybody on my Rumble channel. So you can go back and listen to the first one. I went into that, but I do believe that um, because there's a moon there and it brought the astrology brought up all sorts of anxiety and shadow aspects that last week. Um, and even though he loved to be outside, this car came in upside down. So he wasn't utilizing nature to assist his anxiety and depression. And he was having a really tough time. The shadow aspects were around him, confusing him. Okay. So that's what he wanted us to know. So now, right now, so emptying the bowl, love begins. Like to me, that's, that would have been um, him leaving him transitioning got the moon so there there it he did leave on a powerful portal it was either a full moon or it was a full moon lunar eclipse it was one of those so he had an opportunity to leave he left okay i heard to end the suffering and yeah and then the transformation number 13 so that's it so he he transformed from his human um form into spirit ace of swords yeah so he so he's letting me know he battled everything for as long as he could. He lasted for as long as he could. Memories of love, six. I, he, they're just letting me know he was suffering in the end, ten of, ten of Pentacles. So he was suffering in the end. He was um, struggling because he part of him wanted to stay for his family, for his parents um, and friends, but. Um, a lot of it was tied up around his resources. A lot of it was, um, he was done with the game, the matrix. He wasn't celebrating anymore. Let me just have more card. Yeah, and it became a seven of pentacles. So he was burnt out. He was tired of working. He was tired of the game. He was tired of um, the, the money game, the matrix game. Okay, so that's, that's all for this channel. And pay attention if you haven't got the notifications on. Uh, put the notifications on a subscribe. Thank you. And you'll get a notification in a little while for the rumble, the rumble video. Okay. So now I want to just double check into, we're going to call it code word shock the monkey, the monkey energy. And is it, um, what do we need to know about that? Shock the monkey. It's connected to partnerships and alliances. Uh, okay, so new beginnings came in. Is there a reset? But it came in upside down. Number nine, fulfillment of wishes. And bottom of the deck, rest and rejuvenation. Okay. And again, I will go into a deeper dive about all of this on rumble all right partnerships and alliances what do we need to know and this is coming from the arcturian council of light okay six of cups I need a little bit more information about that though because that oh they're letting us know a couple of things they're letting us know that there are partnerships and alliances galactic that are very aware of what is trying to transpire and where to stay at peace and think positive thoughts for the collective okay the bottom of the deck is seven of cups so choose wisely choose choose your belief systems wisely around this three of swords excuse me they're trying the other team is trying to see if they can build on the previous traumas of everything that happened in 2024 so they're trying to see if there is a um if a large majority of people will fall for that if they're still in their trauma okay so let's go into 
New beginnings and why it came upside down. The Empress. Yeah, it's to prevent the divine feminine from stepping into their power and being intuitive. So they don't want us to be on our ascension. It's like another ploy to stop the ascension. Okay, fulfillment of wishes, which is like in between, right? In between two waterfalls, completing a cycle, queen of wands. Again, about the divine feminine within all of us. We are powerful manifestors. And we came here undercover to, uh, we came in undercover to complete this mission. So we're not to, we're not to get involved. We're not to fall, fall for this as, as well. Okay. It's a story. It's not real. All right. Even though they, they'll tell us that it's rest and rejuvenation, spending time in nature. When you're feeling overwhelmed, anxiety about any of these stories, spend time with the trees and in nature and um, receive healing and breathe and realize like that is real. Okay. Rest in any. All right. We've got the first off. we have the Knight of cups. So for all of us to do that, it's going to be very powerful um, earth, giving us wisdom and information. And there's also someone behind the scenes that up on earth that's working on our behalf that knows about this. And then we have the sun card, which is one of the best cards in the deck, which is the beginning. So not to worry, not to worry. It's um, it's to bring fear up and to scare everybody, but we're not to worry and not to get involved with that story. Okay. Okay. I think that that is all. That's all I, I'm going to um, wrap up, that up. So again, beautiful soul tribe, if you'd like to work with me, full blue super moon offers on right now for personal deep dive Akashic sessions with quantum healing chakra messages, packages, galactic Akashic records, working with the dragons training for grid work group grid work so check it all out uh, the group grid work only has so many spaces but there's so many beautiful things on offer and i look forward and of course there's availability for one mentorship to start as well so sending the clarion call out to whoever i'm supposed to assist with you move accelerating moving clearing healing your your traumas helping you elevate into your soul mission and living your best life and on your best timeline all right sending so much love and aloha everyone thank you so much for liking subscribing sharing out i will be back soon love from pink bella take care